What up, what up, we build, what up, y'all, we, what it do, welcome back to the We Feel, y'all, welcome to you. If you're new, hey, hi, hi, welcome, welcome to you too, please stay, don't click off, we're gonna do a reading, we are a spiritual reader, a channeled messenger, and we are bringing messages from the spirit, the Alpha and Omega Beloved, gonna come in and speak with us. Tell us what the vibe is, what it is that we need to know about in terms of what's in our energy. Could be something going on with you, beloved, internally um, to support you on your spiritual journey. Yes, um, we thank you so much for uh, hanging out. If you can get through the message and you resonate, please, you know, leave us your thumbs up and uh, maybe subscribe if you vibe, you know, that whole thing. And if you really care about the message, share it out. Sharing is caring. Yes, thank you to the Alpha and Omega pull us into the inner sanctuary the hope is the holy yes surround us calm our frequency our resonance our vibration i see i see magnetized peace magnetized peace we happy monday it is monday i think june the 10th i believe it is um yeah yeah, June the 10th. And whenever you get this message, it's still good for now, beloved. I mean, what's time anyway? Um, these are timeless. But we see the energy of magnetizing peace. Peace, calm, serenity. <laughs> right? And, you know, be weary about those things that will come to interrupt your peace, beloved. Yes. Ring the bell on that. Anything that will come and interrupt your peace. We ask the most high God, the Alpha and Omega, to bring this message. We see lust. This energy was there yesterday. You know, somebody, we see smell the roses. Smell the roses. Slow down. Take some time to get out in nature. Vacay. Maybe somebody's going to go on a vacay soon. Or maybe you need to go on a vacay so that you can stop and smell the roses. Maybe you need to put some distance between you and somebody else. They might be a little crazy, psychopath energy. See, cutting ties with somebody. You know, I don't know what's happening. But it's definitely feeling like some something. Ooh, see, narcissist with a masked person. Oh, hiding, concealing, deception, hiding the fact that they are a whole narcissist, egotistical, and opportunities, opportunist with a fragile ego, walking around with their little crown they on and they head all held up high. They fuck around and fall and that shell is cracked and crack their shell. You talking about, man, this person will probably turn into hell on wheels, you know. And I feel like, again, the thing is like either somebody's trying to keep the peace, maintain peace, or just want to be in a space of peace. Maybe you're recovering from a relationship with a narcissist and you just really need, yeah, <laughs> confirmation. Somebody recovering from a, a, a relationship with a narcissist and they need a vacation. They need to rest and rejuvenate. This person that probably Sucked all your energy out, beloved. You need to be replenished. Masculine energy. See? Masculine. Somebody that has a sense of authority. You know. Look. Smelling the roses. Taking the time to slow down. Now, you could be a masculine, you know, that has uh, been in a relationship with a narcissistic female. Could be thrills. This person, yeah, definitely got half of their face covered up. Bad decisions, addictions, right? You know, you could be, you know, again, a definitely a masculine that was dealing with the narcissistic female. You could be a person in your masculine energy and whatever, whoever the, whoever, whoever you are, we, you are in your masculine energy and you are recovering from a narcissistic relationship, right? Now, the person that you're recovering from, you take it, flip it, flop it, which way it resonates. But you could be a masculine dealing with a female. You could be a female dealing with a masculine. You know, it could be, you know, whoever is in that energy, right? 
So even if it's a same-sex relationship, somebody is usually more feminine and somebody is more masculine. So take it whichever way it resonates, basically. Glow up at somebody is on the verge of a glow up. New opportunities, new career, successful, successful business. So whoever this masculine in this masculine energy is having a glow up. Taking authority over their life. New opportunities in career. Successful business. Is it one of these? This one? This? This? Wishful thinking. It's here. Second chance. Ooh, deja vu and nostalgia. Somebody want a second chance? Ooh, but some this. I feel like they, they, they look salty. Suffering in silence, feeling like they had some sort of setback, right? They could be wishing you a, wishing you, I can't speak. It's something wrong with communication, right? Um, it's weird because wishful thinking, I'm getting a second chance, but not really just that, but the deja vu, reliving the situation, thinking about you. They are suffering in silence, experiencing some sort of setback, right? Broken dreams, experiencing their real feelings, unspoken desires, the things that they can't speak about because their ego is too fragile. Also feeling a little bit salty, bitter, angry, petty. I don't know if that's just you, but I feel like it's your other person. It's this narcissist. Um, feel like their ego has been bruised, beloved. And even though that's the case, they still have some wishful thinking. And they may not necessarily miss you, but they miss what you could do for them. They miss your supply. Yeah, isolation. This person is in isolation. Look at the little teddy bear feeling rejected and left alone. But it's a self-inflicted wound. Self-inflicted. Uh, you having joy and happiness. Epiphany. Somebody definitely had an epiphany. Self-reflection. Untapped talents. Right? That's going to... Uh, is somebody upset over your um, talents? Over the fact that your new opportunities? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. See, most, you know, many narcissists, they may think about things, but if they really able to attribute, um, not self-blame, but just taking accountability for whatever it is that they did, and they may not be doing that, um, we see daydreaming, nightlife, energy, we see distance, ghosted, separation, is here and burn bridges. We see a lack of trust, disloyal turn, uh, either you turned or back on this person and they feel rejected. They feel left alone. They understand, they could have some awareness that this is self-inflicted. You know, they could. Nurturing, mentorship, wisdom, giving back. I feel like they didn't give back to you, but it's something that you have come into um, an untapped talent. I'm really honing in on an untapped talent. It could be true self-reflection, answered questions, getting some answers, right? Whatever it is. It's supporting your glow up and it's pissing somebody else off. This person is suffering in silence, feeling like they're experiencing a setback. They don't know what to do to replace your energy. They're having a lot of wishful thinking, nostalgia, maybe hoping or wanting a second chance. Uh, and if, it, if it's not a second chance, they're having a sense of deja vu. Nostalgia. Exhausted. See, somebody is exhausted. They need to recover from this relationship. Burned out, right? Feeling empty, needing to go on a vacation and replenish. That hit me in the spirit. Definitely needing to go on vacation to get some replenishment, some restoration. Anything else in here? I'm seeing love, Oracle. 
look stagnant and chaos chaotic upheaval somebody's going through some chaos a downfall something that feels like a disaster we see stagnant stuck dead in frozen right they are frozen they can't move forward they are having some sense of nostalgia you know wishful thinking feeling isolated left out going through this setback they're bitter angry maybe even feeling a little petty i'm hearing heavy on the petty heavy on the petty see ooh, psychopath this person may be a little bit you know you know crazy as shit be careful we because you know how thick shit get i mean we watch the news we know them stories we ain't gonna call it out but i'm just saying unpredictable conniving right that a word that's on there definitely feeling conniving anything else in here paranoid see cautious this person is paranoid insecure paranoid guarded insecure psychotic intimacy mutual respect Unity and closeness and consequences of their bad choices, games, and mixed signals. That's what they're missing. That's the nostalgia, right? They miss your connection. They miss that intimacy. They miss that level of closeness, right? And the consequences of their actions, their bad choices, right? Daydreaming, wishful thinking, but you're at a distance. You moved away from this person head in the clouds, some sort of delusion, hopes and dreams, but you've cut ties with this person. You've cut ties with this narcissist. This person is definitely bad shit. Yeah. We see good vibes, you being in the now, living in the moment, you know, but, um, shit, we, <laughs> she, I think she lighted her cigarette on the birthday candles on these candles. I'm hearing divorce party divorce separation or something like that <laughs> celebration but i feel like you need to go on a vacation because this, this person has really drained you really really drained you yeah where did it go mm -hmm. We dropped a whole slew of cards, and now we got to figure out where everything is. Man, y'all, when I tell you, your girl got more cards in a little bit, it's almost, it's almost getting ridiculous. It, it's getting there, y'all. It really, really is. I don't see neither one of these decks. They got to be all the way over here. In the shadows. Spirit said. We can use this one. Definitely feel like something ended because we see kisses and we see coughing right off the bat. Unconditional loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. I feel that's that intimacy, but something ended, right? Something ended. Death. Cupid's arrow. We see love. Unconditional love. Spirit said this. Unconditional love. That's probably what you gave this person, you know. But I feel like you chose to love self. You know, as well, because a narcissist can be very draining, right? You start giving that unconditional love to yourself, self-love, coming to a feeling of a state of oneness. But I feel like this person definitely had, an, yeah, look, an attraction and addiction to you, right? They love your energy, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, right? Um... I don't feel restrained or they need to be in restraints because this person is crazy as shit. Look, healing heart. You're healing your heart. And maybe, again, you need to go on a vacation in paradise. Healing your heart from heartbreak. Look, from a toxic, freedom from a toxic 
relationship or addiction, right? I feel like that's your energy, right? Because this narcissist, whoever this person is that has these characteristics, because we can't claim, call them whatever because we can't diagnose anyone. But still, tower moment, sudden change, shock, right? Surprise, an epiphany, right? Upheaval. This person is definitely seeing something or coming to some sort of realization. Paradise. <laughs> you need to go on vacation, right? Happiness, joy, oneness. Ooh, enjoying each other. You might mess around and meet a masculine on vacation and glow up. I mean, if you are not this person that's in this masculine energy, you might go on vacation and meet a masculine, right? Mirror. We see photograph too. I feel a nostalgia, old pic old pictures, right? Mirroring each other, self-image, relationship reflect our wounds, introspection. This person may be starting to look in the mirror or being forced to look in the mirror. Like, I'm hearing your spirit team is holding the mirror up. Um, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, right? Nostalgia. That's what we picked up on. But this it, this this relationship is dead. It's over. You know. Look, dragonfly, transformation, you know what I mean? Yeah. Adapting, changing, healing. You're healing. You're healing. This person probably, they need to heal too. They, I hear can't get over you. Yeah, this person is stuck. Wedding rings. Something about not today. Um, you might not be taking no calls today. This is somebody that I feel like you were married to, right? Um, or have a deep soul connection, a soul connection with, right? Um, and I don't know if, yeah, this person is batshit. Not dealing, right? They are not dealing. They are still angry, bitter over this separation. See? Separation, right? Focusing on, yeah, they wouldn't even let me read that self-indulgence. Mm -mm. Spirit saying no. Stab in the back. But self-indulgence is back. Stab in the back. Right? This person feel like you stab their ass in the back or they may do something to stab you in the back. Be careful. This person is that shit crazy. Like, this could be literal or just metaphorical. You know, they could literally do something to stab you in the back. Talking. Interested, conversing more, awaiting messages. You know, a text or call an email. They could be hoovering. Hoovering is definitely a um, narcissistic tactic. Hoovering. They could be calling you like crazy. You know what I mean? They could be really wanting to go out with you, take you on a date, you know, love bomb you, suck you, pull you back in. This person could definitely be exhausting. You know what I mean? Um, and I feel like you probably just need to get away and, you know, rejuvenate, refresh yourself, replenish. Um, you could have already been on vacation for some, depending on where you at in your timeline. And, you know, if they've seen pictures of you, they may want to hoover you and suck you back in because they can feel you moving away like a sense of finality. Look, self-indulgence is back again. Focusing on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Again, we talked about somebody when you start um, pouring that love into self, and you take it away from them, making healthy choices, pouring into self, then they, they tend to, like, you know, get that shock, like, what's happening, right? And they will either go into those tactics of either hoovering, love bombing, trying to pull you back in, doing something to get you trapped, you know, where you can't get out of a relationship. They may even progress, let's get married, because if they put a ring on and they marry you, then they feel like they got you. They could try to trap you with a baby, you know, either they could try to get pregnant or they try to get you pregnant so that, you know, they got their grips on you, they have you. It could be something um, financial, like a financial tie, you know, where they feel like they can take control over a situation and use that as leverage against you. I feel like somebody started making healthy choices and thinking about self, self-love, self-care, um, wanting to be happy. Again, prioritizing peace in the shadows. What's in the shadows, We. It's a card left in here. I forgive you with what, what fell, is what fell in my lap. We have, I never want to feel that way again, and I don't need your approval. That's here. 
you are not a part of my plan and I wondered how far this would go. Let's see what comes out. I've been struggling. Somebody is struggling, but it's in reverse, right? Um, this could be you having released the struggle, prioritizing peace, right? You're prioritizing your peace at this time, letting go of the struggle, letting go of the headache, the emotional and uh, spiritual pull that um, this person with these narcissistic tendencies have. I know you're watching me. I know you're watching me, right? This could be this person's paranoia. It could be your paranoia. It could be you like feeling like this person is still watching you. Sometimes I feel like somebody's watching me and I got no privacy. Oh, I hope you're happy for me. This person is definitely not happy for you. Maybe you don't even give a shit whether this person is happy for you. Maybe this person... <laughs> I hear wishes. Uh, I hope you're happy. And it's in reverse. This person definitely does not <laughs> wish you happiness. They do not wish you well, beloved. They wish you... <laughs> they pretty much feel like you can go to hell. <laughs> That's what I just heard. They feel they pretty much feel like I wish this so and so and such and such. Shut your mouth, beloved. You are everything but the child of God. <laughs> but they can't get over your energy. It's like, what the hell? This love hate relationship. They cannot get over your energy. They are stuck. Your body language says so much. Like maybe they not getting nothing from you. <laughs> maybe you are cold and distant and like fuck that shit. Most of it, <laughs> absolutely not. I'm exhausted. I can't even give no more fucks because I have no energy to give any more fucks for thee. <laughs> absolutely not. At this point, peace is the priority. <laughs> peace, peace, peace. Be still and uh, keeps me a piece of steel. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. I know we have a soul connection. And it's in reverse. Man. You like, we do not have a soul connection. Like, disconnect. <laughs> Cut ties. But we love it. Absolutely not. No soul connection for you. <laughs> Calling back all your energy. Replenishing yourself, going on vacation, making good, healthy decisions, health, making good, healthy choices. I hear healthy choices. Yes, we are not right for each other. And it's in reverse. Somebody does think that you guys are right for each other. This crazy. <laughs> I know. The card says psychopath. Psychopath means But don't call it that week, no. <laughs> it's so many different combinations going through my head from mentally challenged to mentally arrested. <laughs> I'm saying, you can't come with me. You can't come with me. And it's in reverse. The whole deck is not in reverse. It's not. Like, what the hell? Turn it around and see. Nope. Everything is not in reverse. Yep. It's mostly though. You can't come with me. They feel like they can. They want to come with you. They want a new start. They want to, they're probably coming in love bombing you. Uh, hoovering, trying to get you to reply to their text messages, their emails, have conversation with them, go on on a date with them. Um, but you know, when you enter back into this relationship, they're going to do something to deepen it, to deepen the tie, solidify it so that you are trapped with them. I don't really know you, right? You don't really know this person. This person could be completely bad shit, beloved. I fantasize about you. Yes, they do. That's that nostalgia. Anything else? Yes. You don't really know how far a person would go. You just don't. You know what I mean? Like, we could think, trust your gut, trust your instinct. You know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, the spirit will tell you, like, hey, person. 
person is always cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. No matter what they're saying, no matter what they're doing, it's a reason why this person is love bombing you, sending you so much communication. And if you have moved away from this person, you already know. You've had to say savage, you've learned the lesson. And once you've been with a narcissist or a person that has high narcissistic characteristics, where you feel like if they went to a doctor and was honest on their test, the evaluation, that they would get a diagnosis of a narcissist. But narcissists are smart. They have to want to get help. They may have, they have to understand that their maladaptive behaviors is what is the root cause of failure of relationships. And if they are not honest with themselves and being able to self-reflect, to look and say, okay, is something going on with me? And how do I relate better so that people don't leave? They don't abandon me and I'm, I'm not fit left with this feeling of isolation and abandonment then they don't really get help beloved because they don't really see self it's going to be everybody else's fault except for their own the blame game right never taking accountability never um really being honest with the people that can help them stay focused is here Stay focused on you. You have business and career that's blowing up, that's growing. You're glowing up. Business is successful. Something that you're doing, that you're focusing on, you know what I mean? An untapped talent. Learn from the past. We just said that. Somebody definitely learn from the past. Right? Once you've been with one, you can recognize one. Set boundaries. Take action and set boundaries with this person. You know what I mean? You might have to block their ass out some other kind of way so that they stop with the communication. Um, you may have to just tell them, look, this is what it is. It's over. Or just block them, like, in a sense where you don't... Because once you start talking to them, then they'll find a way to keep you talking. This one, both of them. Rearrange. They may want you to rearrange your life. You may have to rearrange some things in your life. You know, learning from this past person. They may have had to, to you know, self-reflect and rearrange some things in you. Moving your furniture around, beloved. Getting your chakras in alignment, right? Because someone over here, one over there, one, you know what I'm saying? But come back into alignment. Be, you know, stable within self. And that's that self-love. Uh, um, making healthy choices. Unconditional love of self. Um, pouring into you. Self-reflection, answering your own questions, speaking to the most high God, your highest self to get your questions answered. Like, what is it? Your task or plan needs a um your task or plan needs getting a practical chronological approach. Make it even a make it even a little more specific. Divide the big task into smaller steps. Balance your work better. Maybe it's something that you need to do, not only work on self, because you could be managing a lot. You could be doing business. You could be working on self and healing your own shadow work, recovering from this relationship. You could have other pools on you in terms of family, kids, um, parents, all kinds of things. That's like this ball of uh, energy draining. And I feel like you need to recharge, preserve your energy. Yeah, you need to recharge. Preserve your energy. You know, don't let things or people with low vibrations interfere with your sacred space. If they no longer serve you, just give up on them and simply let go. Don't forget to restore your energy after a storm. And that's what we've been saying. You need to restore your energy because you are exhausted. This person put you through a storm. I'm hearing hurricane, typhoon, tornado all rolled up in one. <laughs> and you like are spent like, oh. But it's still so much for you to do, beloved. I feel like you're doing well in the sense that you're having to glow up. You know, you may need to rearrange some things, prioritize your priorities. Um, but I feel like that, that vacation is definitely going to do you well. So if you have a vacation set, I pray that you enjoy it. Um, if you are, if you don't have one, think about it. It could be like a little weekend excursion just to get away. You know what I mean? You never know. 11-11. Some coming together. Angels are watching and guiding you to bring you out, to bring out your highest self. Most importantly, keep up your good work and have faith. Keep it up. Keep up your good work and have faith. 11 11. Anything else in here? Spirit saying no. Anticipate. There should be 
a few challenges or obstacles waiting for you on the way to success. By anticipating these ones, you will absolutely soften the problems and get more decisive solutions and keep it to yourself. You have brilliant and outstanding ideas and epiphany is here, an untapped talent, something that you're working on, right? It says, um, even with the unconventional style, you have brilliant ideas and outstand brilliant and outstanding ideas. You have brilliant and outstanding ideas. Thank you. With an unconventional style, very unconventional. Your energy is not easily replaceable, which is why this person has an obsession with you and your energy. We, you are not somebody that they can just be like, oh, you know, a dime a dozen. Like everybody the same, cookie cutter, and just pick one up off the assembly line. Absolutely not, beloved. You are one of a kind. You are unique. You are boutique. You are not Tarje. <laughs> you know what I mean? You ain't Walmart. <laughs> no, you ain't uh, even nowhere that they could just go. I mean, it's one of a kind, that pop-up, see? There you go. One of a kind, pop-up, store, like boutique. I've only been in this place, and this one place is only this one store. And I, you know, I found a gem in there, and you would never find it again. Mm -mm. It says, so before you round up and perform, keep it a secret to prevent yourself from judgment or competitive energy. Competitive energy. Narcissists are competitive. They are. Lo and behold, you fuck around and be better at something than they are. And they see you being successful and glowing up. Oh, they petty as fuck. You know, they feeling petty. They feeling like they done had a whole setback. They can't replace your energy. We see easy does it. Easy does it. Leadership. Ah, leadership. Boss energy. Right? Um, it's time for you to step up into leadership, into your own life. It says you can expect to succeed in any leadership position. Your finances will greatly improve. Your finances will greatly improve once you accept and step into your power. Entertainer, right? You can be entertaining. You could be an influencer. You could just have like that star quality to you, right? Put yourself out there. Put yourself out there with whatever this is doing. Speak. Don't don't talk about it. Until, you know what I mean, you work in silence behind the scene, get everything going. And I feel like once you get everything going, everything prioritized, everything rearranged and alignment and it's running fine tune, you know, put yourself out there, right? You could be drawn to careers in theater, dancing, music, or some sort of entertainment. But is there a talent, untapped talent, right? Is there a talent that you could turn into money? Think outside the box. How could you lead yourself forward, Right. See, the same things that a person with egotistical issues, like, it's, it's great, you know, for them to be with somebody who is talented, who is smart, right, who look good, because you being on their arm in either capacity, right, whether you male or female, we, gives them a boost. Like, they're, um, the way that people look at them is like, oh, wow, that's your person, you know what I mean? But in reality, they end up in some sort of competition with you because, Lord forbid, that somebody be better than them like they feel less than you because underneath that mask that they wear they're really insecure right they're insecure so it's look <laughs> that's what i said settling they feel like they're gonna hit a whole setback settling and if i'm telling y'all look y'all gonna look you see that card this is exactly why i was feeling it i think it's right down here somewhere this right here tell me that ain't the same damn thing same, same, same. Suffering in silence. Feeling like they have to settle for something now. Right? Suffering in silence. Unspoken desires. Dealing with their real feelings. Broken dreams, beloved. Broken dreams. Take... These broken wings look lost and they feel it. They're in their emotions. They are definitely in their emotions. They ain't doing so very good. You stay, see you stable and you coming to health and being good with self, making some good investments. It's opportunity knocking. Reconsider a decision. If this person wants to reach out to you, don't do it. We're going to cut it here. Thank you guys so much for joining us. 
opportunity not just got to go to the next now we love you thank you for joining us here on the Terrence and Wittrow show where you show enough never know what you're gonna get love you like you love us because I love the alpha and omega that made us that called us to be the infinite intelligence breathing this one's done I straight.